I owe so much to my next guest because she's my friend and also my nutritionist who helped me get healthy and into a bathing suit on national TV. So she is here to show us what foods are trending this fall. Please welcome my girl, Dr. Rowe. Oh my Dr. God. Dr. Rowe. Oh my God. God. I am so happy for you. I am thrilled for you. Girl queen, I'm just happy you're here. I have to say, you helped me. Now, you helped me get into a bathing suit when I was on The View. I gotta ask you, how was I as a client? It was a little, look at, I can't even believe that. Look, <laughs> that's my handiwork. That's that my was handy you, work. Dr. Rowe. <laughs> that was you. You were stunning how did, I, how did I do as a client? I know you had to help no, me. No, you were a dream to work with. You really were. You were a dream. Now, I had to keep you off 125th Street out of the, the soul I know, food I know, I was at Melba's all the right. time. <laughs> But I love working with you, you know that. And you, because I love you because you're so caring when you work with your clients. And I know I had talked about going to DC and I had that mambo sauce. Mm -hmm. That mambo sauce was so good, it can't, it, it literally. Is that healthy? Look here, I rep DC, okay? okay? You know I'm from DC. Yeah. The mambo sauce is cool, it's cool. You're not gonna have it every day. It is tossed in fried chicken wings, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was so good I wanted to drink some of that daggone mambo sauce. Yes, that, yes. Okay, so I could have it every once in a while. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so now, there we go. You brought us the fall food trends. I didn't even know that there were like food trends. So yes. let's take it. What's first? Well, it's really, these are, these are some good substitutes for some of your favorite splurge foods. Okay. okay. So one splurge food is French fries. It's the French fries. Yeah. Okay. But instead of French fries, it's all about the halloumi fries. Okay. What is halloumi? Halloumi is cheese. It's a Mediterranean cheese. It has a high melting point. So it fries up, it pans It's like mozzarella, kind of. A little bit. Mm. And it has a little tanginess, oh, almost like, like a mild feta. Can you get this at the grocery store? Where I gotta go? I gotta go over you, to you Greece. Gonna have you to, you're gonna have to make this. You're gonna have to make this, but it's so easy. We have mm. the recipe, right? Dipping it, dipping in a little romesco sauce or your favorite pasta sauce right out of the jar. Oh, I like this. Okay. Okay. What's next? I like this. But, well, potato chips are out. <laughs> no potato chips. Let's walk on the wild side. I'm gonna upgrade you with okay. some zucchini chips. Oh, okay, zucchini right. chips. Also, lower in calories, lower carbs, high in vitamin E, so good for your skin. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. What I do like you the crunch. You like I do the like crunch. the crunch. You got the crunch. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay. I like this. Okay, I'm glad. We're winning. Never thought. All right. So scrambled eggs. You I love usually, scrambled eggs. Usually you fry them in butter, you scramble them in butter or olive oil, right? Yes. Well, we're gonna- Butter. Oh, okay. Butter. <laughs> butter. Mm -hmm. Well, how about doing it in pesto? These are pesto eggs. Oh, pesto eggs. With a, a, like a bite of flavor in every bite. So a what's burst that, of what's flavor good about bite. that? So the pesto eggs, well, first of all, they're interesting enough to get us out of bed. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm, see, isn't that good? I like that. And the pesto is healthy. It contains heart protecting, you know, nutrients because you got pine nuts, you got basil, you've got olive oil. And the whole trick is that it's olive oil based. So you use this as your cooking fat. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, this actually is really good. Three for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is good. Okay, good. All right, so last year and the year before, mm -hmm. it was cauliflower everything. Cauliflower yes. rice. Yes. Cauliflower pizza crust. Everything was cauliflower. Cauliflower mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Aren't you sick of it? Because I yeah. am. <laughs> okay, you sick of it? Mm hmm So now we're moving on to z pesto zucchini pappardelle. Oh, wait a minute, what? Yes, yes, so take a taste of this. So That's this is so... a pappardelle noodle, but it's made of zucchini. Yes, and it's high, it's a high, you know, zucchini is a vegetable, so it's high water content, but high, but nutritional. You know what I like about this? Because I can't eat spaghetti. I'm diabetic, so I can't eat the pasta and the spaghetti, and I like this. It, it has that kind of like flavor. Isn't my, it? It's, my, it's one of my favorite dishes. Mm. And if you happen to be vegan, you substitute the, the Parmesan cheese for uh, nutritional yeast. I'm not vegan. I'm gonna put some Italian sausage right. in this. No. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. A whole plate of this it. Is very good. low calorie, very low calorie. You can tell I didn't have breakfast, girl. I'm so damn hungry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Eat a plate of it. We're moving on from nut milks. This, this nut, everybody's been obsessed with oat milk and nut yeah, milk, right? Yeah. But a better idea is seed milks. Yes. Seed milk. It's made from saf safflower seeds. 
You can drink milk from safflower Sun, seeds. Sunflower, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, yes. I just suck on the shit out the shell. But and you, hemp okay. seeds, yeah. And hemp seeds. And hemp seeds. Okay. They're, it's higher in protein and good fats. And you and it doesn't have, like I'm lactose intolerant, so this is like right. So this is perfect for you if you're lactose intolerant. The seed milks are the jam. That's what you want. Now I want you to taste the smoothie that we have that I prepared. This is a smoothie with the seed milk. This this is a smoothie with the seed milk, and it's also a seed. This is a smoothie to help curb sugar this cravings. This kind of it's kind of good. I'd have to get used to the taste. Right. Curb. So cause, and you know why you're saying that? Because why? one, there's a little vinegar in here to help. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. I was like, there's something in here that's kind of like. But it helps to curb sugar cravings. So if the you want to get sugar oh, for real? out of the diet, you want to cut sugar back. <laughs> Yeah, tell the cravings. Yes, you want to cut back on sugar. This is your thing. Okay. So Woo. we want to end. No, no. Look, you want to have a little toast? Yes. What is this? Okay. So usually everybody's used to taking shots of tequila. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're going with a mezcal mule. A mezcal mule. Now mezcal. I thought you said a mezcal mule. <laughs> I was like, that ain't good. No, okay. we're not going a there. Mezcal. But mezcal, mezcal is a liquor, a Mexican liquor that's made naturally from Ooh. the agave plant. Ooh, so it has, it's good. lower in sugar. What's this called? Mezcal mule, baby. Shall, mm. we, shall we toast? Shall we toast? Yes. This is good. Dr. Rowe, thank you for being here. So for more info on Dr. Rowe, go to SherryShowTV.com. We're going to be right back. This is good.